So damn, damn, well, damn, one night or oh, damn, yeah, oh yeah. I'm damn, hey, script, and I'm damned if I wanna stay in the head. Okay, people. So the last video that you saw, I was actually in a hotel and then I came home and my husband surprised me and fully decorated the entire house. Audrey's finally home. <laughs> it's amazing. He said he's gonna put a video up on YouTube. If he does, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Finally, I am back to go over all of the vault tracks. Now, if you are watching this as my super fan on Patreon, then we're also gonna go over Bad Blood and Sweeter Than Fiction because... <laughs> Ariana, what are you doing here? <laughs> So let's see, I'm gonna make the assumption that these songs were written back then and they just were never put on the album. What is that? What is that in the background? Is that a bird or is that a person? Okay, are those Easter eggs? I feel like they would be Easter eggs. I have no idea. Ooh. Let's fast forward to 300 takeout copies later. I see your profile and your smile on unsuspecting waiters. Okay, so we've got a similar pattern, but I like that kick in. It's that flight again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she had to have wrote them at the same time because I'm seeing way too many similarities. We have the uh huh, which I pointed out. Uh uh uh, and uh uh. There's a lot of uh and uh, and we have uh. There's a lot of that. We already have the pattern of where I said a lot of the notes are kind of stacked in a row. Da 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 da. And she had a clean and stay and those were all I feel like soaring kind of songs you know you dream of my mouth before it called you a lying traitor oh you search in every maiden's bed for something greater baby oh shit red blood white snow uh-huh <laughs> your new girl is my clone Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is a breakup. She's talking shit. All right, Taylor. That's right. Oh, the oh lord. That was heavy. That was not early day Taylor. This is late day Taylor. Oh lord. I think about, I, like she hits the oh lord so heavy and then she goes right into the grit on I think about. Just to see you come running. Oh. If she's mm. got blue eyes, I will surmise that she'll probably date her. Oh. You dream of my mouth before it called you a lying traitor. You search in every model's bed for something pretty, baby. There's a lot of reverb. We have a lot of kickback. You search in. Even within all the layers of reverb that I'm hearing, you could still hear this really nice, heavy, connected Taylor voice that wasn't as common before. Was it over when he unbuttoned my blouse? God, I like that drive so much. Is it over now? Yeah, right there. Da -da 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 -da. That yell and that kick there, that's also a 1989 stamp. Nice hold on it though. I think I didn't see you, there were flashing lights. At least I had the decency to keep my nights out of sight. Oh, oh. Oh, did you guys hear that build up? I like it. She brought it really big. Now she brings it back down to low, which is this is a very common thing that she does. And it's very musical theater feeling with the dynamics. You don't hear it as much in pop music, but she does it and I love it. So small. I think I didn't see you, there were flashing lights. At least I had the decency to keep Harmony, layered, and then it's big again. Yes. When it fades out, oh. Okay, that didn't end like they did before. Before she would do one sentence and it would end right there. Now granted, we did have a little bit of repeat. One thing, but no. But I don't feel like that was the normal sentence that she normally would have used. So, a little bit different. You had people who called oh. you on unmarked numbers. Okay, already we have that exact pattern that I've been talking about. Ooh, that's low. Always quickly forgive. Is she gonna go up? You were so magnetic, it was almost obnoxious. 
No. So it's not following her normal pattern. That was super low too. Oh, I love it when it does that. Oh, why wasn't this on the record? I love all the patterns. There's a lot going on on this. With the pages ripped out, I am standing in a 1950s gymnasium. She tends to say the 1950s in a lot of her songs. You notice that? And I can still see you Oh, I love that part. Consume me up forever. Consume me up forever. <laughs> low note, Taylor, low note. Oh, I like that synth. Like she knew, she knew it was gonna be bad. It's a possibility that there's something you might wanna see a therapist about because you're not listening to the warning signs and the red flags. And that may be because perhaps something happened in the past that made you think this is normal and okay. And so you stay in it. That's unusual for her too. I heard from everybody. Whoa! You part the crowd like the Red Sea don't even get me started. That is so much stuff on her vocals. A lot. There's like reverb for days. Did you get anxious though? On the way home. Oh. I guess I'll never ever know. Now that we don't talk. Oh! Did you hear the air on that? Now that we don't. Oh my god! It's so deep! <laughs> Now that we don't talk. Ooh. Now that we don't talk. Ah, <sighs> talk. It's just air, basically. Ooh, what's that coming in? You grew your head. There it is. I like these lows in all of these songs. Now that we don't oh, talk. talk. Oh, octave above. She said that it was for the best. Oh, I like it. I myself, the more I gave you, want me less. I oh. be your friend. This is my favorite one so far. The notes that are there are really common scale and pattern, but I love that she's going into more of an airy falsetto as she's hitting it, but it's got this haze to the front of it. I wanna hear that chorus. I'm gonna love this chorus. I already know it. Oh my mom, she said that it was for the best. Remind myself the more I gave you want me less. Oh, and those lyrics there. I oh, I fall in. Oh my god, it's so good. I call my mom, she said to get it up my chest. Yes! Remind myself the way you faded till I last. I cannot be your friend. So I pay the price of what I love. I love this. What it costs. Now that we don't talk. So cut there too. And I like oh. as it rocks. Oh. it, I'd like to be on a mega yard. What? I like both of those things. <laughs> Guess this is how it has to be. Now that we don't talk. Does it end like that? Yes, I love it. She just cuts it, so it's silent. I think that should have been on her album. We could replace, <laughs> you guys are killing me. We could place, replace Wonderland <laughs> with now that we don't talk, right? <laughs> you guys were like, I didn't. Fading into madness. That's beautiful, oh, no. though. Oh no, it won't stop. Oh. Alone. I hold my breath a little bit alone. I like it. Halfway out the door, but it won't close. Ah! I'm holding out, hope for you to say, don't go. Okay, this has got the same feeling as uh, Clean. Is it Clean? Was that the one that I really liked? It just reminds me like if you were to strip away some of the backing and put more of like a musical theater backing, it would be beautiful as a mu musical theater song. I would stay forever if you say. Oh, the harmonies on that? Oh, and then. Go. Oh, good harmony choices too. Why'd you have to uh. leave me? I feel like 
this part needs a little bit, I don't know the words of it, but it needs more of a kick instrumentally. The the drums, that it, it needs to come in a little bit more here. It feels still a little empty. I'm, I'm still wanting something from it. Now I'm yep. Pacing on shaky ground. Just an octave above where she started. I feel like that right there is like the old school little bit of country Taylor. Cause you kiss me, kiss me and it stops time. Is I got a little bit of that there? There's a little bit. Oh no, you're not there. I'm standing on the sidewalk alone. I wait for you to drive by. I'm trying to see the cards that you won't show. Yeah, and then there's that won't, won't show where she hits the note, connects it, and then goes into air at the very end. I'm excited to listen to the original 1989 and not Taylor's version because I want to hear if these little things, if this is what she always has done or if this is something new. Because won't show, won't, won't, not won't show, won't show. It's like there's so much air put on the end of the phrase as it fades off. I want to know. Say, don't go. Yeah, right there, that whole section reminds me of the, oh, what was the song that she sang? She would say silence or something. You'd sing silence and then she'd say something else and then you'd sing it back and you kind of did a call and response. And then when I listened to the 1989 album was like, there's no response. This reminds me of that song, whatever that song was. I don't think it was clean. Silence? Something like that. This is, this has got that same feeling right here. Why'd you have to leave me on? Why'd you have to twist the night? Walk away and leave me bleeding. Not a huge fan of this chorus here. I think it could have been much stronger. But I love those pre-chorus and verses. Hey, this part here. Don't. I love that they're doing the high. Why do you have to? There's that reflection, or reflect, call a response. You say nothing. There's that yelling again. Said I love you. With all the echo. I said I love you. Oh, hell too. Why'd you have to leave me on? Why'd you have to twist the night? Walk away and leave me bleeding, bleeding. Why'd you whisper in the dark just to leave me in the night? Now your silence has me screaming. That's got the layers that I was talking about before. It's got a little more of it. So she was holding back on us. to the beginning gentle but you won't but you won't oh but you won't oh the lower on that last but you won't oh and that gives it just that makes you feel like it's heavier it's deeper it's more personal that was a journey and a half of a song holy shit man we went all over the place i don't like the chorus i just don't as much i mean no i do i do like the chorus I don't like, I guess the structure would be the pre-chorus. I like the say don't go, and I like the beginning actually being in the octave below. I felt it was more personal. Last one, slut. When I heard the title of this, I was like, is this from Taylor Swift or is this from Olivia Rodrigo? Because it felt like the title of something that Olivia Rodrigo would have said. Oh. I did not expect this. I expected more of a blank space, uh, fuck you kind of feel behind the music. Got love struck, went straight to my head. Got love sick all over my bed. Mm. Love to think you'll never forget. And prints in wet cement. Adorned with smoke on my clothes. Love lorn and nobody knows. OK, 
okay, I'm waiting for the slut part. I was ex like, that's that's a harsh word. Where's that coming in? Oh, I like that echo. Yeah, I like this. I like this chorus here. I almost feel like maybe she took this chorus and put the same kind of idea in some of the other songs. It's got that same kick over the top, connected into falsetto air that drops that same feel, but I like it. But I like the other ones way more. I feel like uh, the, the it, it's a little it's a little slow on the verses, and then the chorus has some potential. Tangerine. I feel like she's going to that a lot. And all of the albums were colored. Is that why? Is this tangerine? I haven't even opened it yet. I'm gonna do a little opening ceremony party thing with my patrons, by the way. So come on over to my Patreon, which by the way, if you don't know, I do a million things on there. Um, we do different Taylor events every single month, different album releases, album reactions, documentaries, behind the scenes, bonus stuff. Like I was saying before, there's bonus tracks that we're going to do that were only on this vinyl version that are going to be on Patreon. So come on over. But are you Tangerine? I'm kind of doing an unboxing here, but you don't get to see it all. God, I haven't seen a record in forever. Not, it looks like it's peach. So it's the peach edition. I don't know. Oh, anyways, I thought it might be Tangerine. And if they call me you, slut, slut. Fuck <laughs> you. In love. Right? Screw it. If you're gonna judge me, I might as well just be like, fuck it. I'm just gonna be all of it and I'm gonna dive in. Makes sense to me. Oh, <gasps> that is it, you guys. Oh my god. So now that we don't talk, I would have put that in the album. Absolutely. I think it needed to be in the album. I think it was really good. Um, there's so many layers to it. The other ones, I feel like they have little pieces of what the 1989 album has. I feel like the Ones that are on the album are a little bit put together better. Um, it's gonna be interesting to hear the bonus one. Listen to Bad Blood and then the other version, the remix, and listening to Sweeter Than Fiction on the vinyl. So that's what we're gonna listen to next um, on my Patreon for my super fans, along with a bunch of other stuff. So I'm, I wonder if Sweeter Than Fiction is going to have the same like kind of yelling, the same drop off at the end, the same bunch of words, but the note is the same and then it drops off. I wonder if we're gonna see the same patterns I don't know. We're gonna find out. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, you guys. See you later. 